What do narcissists get out of hurting other people? Narcissists, generally speaking, have basically no sense of self on the inside. And so they are constantly looking for things externally of them to sort of fill that void. In addition to that, they don't really have a sense of empathy either. And so they tend to gravitate towards hurting other people, really for sport. Loving and caring for other people takes a lot of effort and energy and a lot of vulnerability. And that's just not in the toolbox of a narcissist. But they want other people to love them and give them as much attention as humanly possible. They don't just want affection and attention. They want to control other people. They want to know that they literally have control over your emotions. They want to know that they can affect your mood no matter what you do to try to prevent them from doing that. They get a lot of energy out of eliciting emotional responses out of people, particularly if they are negative emotional responses. They, they feed off of that drama and they love knowing that they cause that amount of drama and they love knowing that they cause that amount of disruption to your nervous system. And this doesn't really make a lot of sense to a lot of people because it's like that doesn't logically like compute. Of course it doesn't because most other people are not trying to hurt other people emotionally for sport. So it's not ever going to make logical sense. But causing that kind of emotional harm and damage to other people actually creates happiness for them. It's sort of known as duper's delight. They're antagonizing you. They're coming at you. They're eliciting an emotional response out of you. You finally crack. And what do they do? They sit back and they're like, the smile, the smirk, that's where you know they intended to make you feel that way. Does it drive people out of their life? Absolutely. But they truly think that it's other people's faults. They do everything they can to not be held accountable for anything, deny anything they did, attack other people, and to make the victims in their situations actually appear like they were the offender. And that's why it's really confusing to the victims. They're like, maybe I am the narcissist, for instance, when that's not usually the case. It's just the narcissist is really good at manipulating the situation. But the narcissist also does a really good job of convincing themselves that the other people are the problem. And they don't realize that like they are the common denominator. They really do think that they are better than everybody else and that everybody else should be like them. So certainly they lose a lot because of who they are and the way they behave, but they don't see it that way. They literally see other people as chess pieces on their incredibly large three-dimensional chessboard that none of us actually have any game pieces for, nor that we even wanted to play the game.